Undying Gauntlet. Let's see how we go. He's about to get hit extremely hard next turn by the two time back to back. God damn it. Although I don't think it matters. GG. Okay. He got us. Whatever. We'll get him next time. I think he loses at least. Oh! What is up, man? That atrocity is about to slap his face. Slap the face. GG, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the atrocity. That's two and one. Let's go. No plays. So I guess I just swing. GG. Climbing the gauntlet. Is there a one mana card I should be concerned about? He's got one card in hand. Tenkua, we're taking this to seven wins. This is for you, Tenkua. Let's go. If oh, that's a hand. That's a hand, and he has no omen hawk. All right, let's go. Do I even have enough? Do I even have enough board space for this? Oh man. Yo, Marissa, homie. Look at the size of this swing. Doesn't even matter. He dead. That was like one of the most disgusting games I think I've ever seen. And now I have a chance of finding atrocity for the win, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think he can do anything about this outside of single combat, actually. But it is what it is. And there it is. Soft man. What is going on, homie? What's poppin', dude? We're playing... We're taking on the gauntlet at the moment. And I just... Played a turn so tremendously. You can't explain the outplays I did this game. He had no single combat. I played Glimpse Beyond. He played Unyielding Spirit. I called it. I played Glimpse. I draw into Atrocity. Big brain. Last game. Let's go. 7-1 and one Gauntlet. It all comes down to this, ladies and gentlemen. This is the final battle. You only get one chance to get your 7th win. Let's play. There's no way we lose this game, guys. I've come, I've come too far. I come too far to drop to a raw Manivia deck. Do it for Tenkua. I will, homie. We need to find those Undyings early, though. Shit. Rough start, but we can get back into it. Hope that our opponent has no one drop. Yeah, son of a bitch. I will not drop. Put an Anivia Braum list. No way in hell. I need to get this Undying, these Curse Keepers. I need all that good stuff. God damn, we are bricking. We are bricking. Whew. One more chance to draw decent. Oh, not like this. Not like this. Oh no. Can you imagine the potential brick hand that we would ever achieve? Bromanivia is getting weaker though, I agree. 110%. Karma Ezreal just shits on it on Arcanus. And if you have two control decks lurking in the meta, one's always gonna come out on top. This is not where we want to be at, guys. I am, I'm, I'm afraid to say this might be where our journey ends. Hey, yeah, you're telling me I have a chance.
You know what? That seemed super overcommittal. That seemed extremely overcommittal. Undying into Chronicle into Croc. Yeah, we're doing it. I need to get as many Undyings on the field early game as possible. Hey, he didn't have a Nivea. That is good. If he Vile Feast his own unit, that's great too. All right, he's going to match me with his own Glimpse. Sure. Karma S might be the next OP deck aside from Darien. Karma S is always going to be the next OP. There's always a chance that for when the meta gets too greedy, Karma S just comes in and takes a huge shit on everyone. We need to find that single copy of uh, Ruination. I think that, that might be the game breaker in this match. We're suddenly still in this game, but I can't make any misplays at this point. And the game will be broken. Ikama Israel pretty much says, if you're a control deck that aims to be greedy without a proper finisher, like an Anivia, uh, Anivia control, then yeah, kill that Braum. How do I kill it? By granting it vulnerability? It's a great day to be a Kama Ez every day. <laughs> I guess I can, yeah, let's play Sheriff here. Vanguard Squire. Sheriff is cool because my board's quite threatening. He maybe wants to play Ruination. He could be very much leaning towards it. Undying punishes those kind of decks. Undying itself is the anti-SI card. Since you're an NA, would be interested to join the next DLR. Could be. This, and then this. Now, he might have like a buff for Braum. Let's see. Now, I'm pretty sure I just glimpse. There's no point in me actually trading into it. That's two Furies down. All right, we're, we're connecting face damage now. We have the Atrocity Closer as well, actually. I forgot all about that. Our early game was rough. He's not making it easy for us. I lost hope for a moment, but now I'm feeling hopeful. Now I'm feeling hopeful. More Undyings to flood our board with cards that just keep sticking. As for the DOR, I haven't really played in much tournaments. Should realistically do it. Kind of talked a lot about the current tournaments in my, um, why I switched from Hearthstone to Rune Terror. Undying is better. All right, Tenkua, let's do it. I was leaning towards it a little bit just because of Ruination, but honestly, if he ruinates me, like, that's a great outcome for me. Also, I'm going to keep denying him that Braum value. <laughs> I'm not going to stop slamming those glimpses down. If he commits a resource here to stop this, we're brilliant. Now I want to play Croc. Yeah, I think we got it, Tenkua. We got it. I'd be happy to see Ruination here. It's probably just Vengeance though, right? Yeah, sure thing. Alright, let's go. Is developing any good here? Not too much. Citrus Coria, interesting. Okay, that's two vengeances is down. Okay. Two vengeance down. Not the strongest rally, but a rally nonetheless. Where's the ruination, guys? Monkey Idol into Atrocity? Maybe. 
Whoa, two times. Champion list undying. We're taking seven and one victory with 10 coolers. The gauntlet journey is over. We've done it, ladies and gentlemen. All recorded, probably going on YouTube at some point. Dabbing on it, free dabs all around. Let's go. Gauntlet complete. Let us claim that loot. Let us flex our new icon. Showing that we are the gauntlet conqueror. Potato chip? How is that song? Oh. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> it's, it's I don't know how to spell it. 